one amazing speaker in the world. Right. As you know, I'm here to speak about yoga, but I think it's uh, apt if I introduce myself as to why I'm speaking about yoga first. Uh, just a brief intro about me. I'm a veterinarian by trade. And then I went to Australia, I did medical physiology at Monash. He moved to Tarbet and then I've been doing uh, teaching for nearly six to seven years at Charles Darwin University. I was also involved in various clinical researches up at Renzi School of Health Research. Then I thought it was time for me to research on something that I really liked. And of course it was yoga. So my, I'm in the verge of completing my PhD. My PhD was looking at yoga therapy in the prevention of pre diabetes. And I think it's very apt here on the Wednesday to talk about why yoga is really important for me. We, um, that was men and women, uh, we are not in competition with each other. We are beautifully uh, complete, complementing both when men and women complement, so it can be one form complete nature. Men are physically strong, we women are emotionally strong. And also it's a beautiful combination, women are rational in love. We love our family, our kids, our house, parents, and everything else than us. We don't have time for us, but we take care of our family and everything. There's lots of stresses in our daily life due to this. Not only that, we women undergo lots of hormonal changes continuously. Right from the time of puberty, in pregnancy, lactation, pre-menopause, menopause, post-menopause. So all stages of our womenhood are dictated by hormones really. For example, pregnancy takes a big toll on our muscles, not only just our muscles, the tonicity is lost. Then also our bone strength, we start using calcium, vitamin D, just as Vidya Dr. Vidyakana was talking about. So we, we start to lose ourselves. If we don't look after ourselves from that point, we are going to fall apart. Then where can we look after our family? This is it. Most diseases have its origin in both mind and body. For example, the same topic which I've been researching for a while. Diabetes has its origin both in mind and body. Likewise, uh, many heart diseases. If you can't find a cause for the disease, we just attribute them to stress. Cancer, any autoimmune disorder, everything. You don't know the cause, it's all down to stress. And these days we have got so much stress that there are lots of these diseases going continuously in the world. When the diseases have its origin in both the mind and body, the therapy for controlling these should also be targeted to mind and body. Isn't it? Now, yoga is one such beautiful therapy which originated from East. And it's very holistic because it targets both mind and body. It advocates five important points for our body. Proper exercise in the form of asanas. Proper breathing, which we never take care of until we start doing yoga. Proper diet. Proper thinking and meditation. And also, most importantly, proper relaxation. So when once or when one embraces yoga, we start listening to our body, we start focusing on our breath, and most importantly, we learn how to relax. Sleeping is not relaxation. Proper relaxation is different. So we start to relax our body, and we provide an opportunity for the body to rejuvenate itself. So, the body can heal itself. We don't have to have medicines. Until otherwise we have ignored our body for a very long time. So I think as women, or whatever I've been um, talking about, it's really important. We embrace yoga. It's fine if you go to gym, but I think it can just be natural therapy. Yoga can also be a natural therapy. I 
I've been teaching yoga and dance for nearly three, four years. I think um, we might plan a session for just women. So you can actually come and experience just that relaxation for a session. When you practice other forms of exercise, we feel tired after a session, isn't it? That's probably because there's so much of lactose build up on the tissues and muscles. But with yoga, because we emphasize on breathing, you have taken up so much oxygen, you feel so rejuvenated after a session. So I'm really asking you guys to try yoga. You don't have to be flexible to do yoga. You start wherever you are. You start embracing your body. You start loving yourself. All these things happen when you start practicing yoga. Thank you very much for this opportunity.